From Carl M. Cuss Memorial Field, it is Land Lakes Baseball on West Bend Community TV. Good afternoon, everybody, as the West Bend 7-Up, the last standing team from West Bend, getting ready to play for the, the Suburban Championship here against the Milwaukee Beavers, as Justin Barkhorse at the lead off here, facing off against the pitching arm of Matt Parent. Matt Parent, easily the most accomplished pitcher on the 7-Up staff. This is his 21st appearance as a member of the team. The West Bend 7-Up at one point, three games below 500 at four and seven, went th and finished the season 13 and eight, having won all but one game in the month of July as strike one delivered to Justin Barkhorst, who's leading off the Beavers. Winner of this game will take on the land of the Lake Country suburban winner as that hit is over to third base. Nice fielding there by Dan Ranieri on the backhand, and it is one away in the top of the first. Second is number two, Justin Reminger. Justin Reminger will be the next batter. He'll be followed by Peter Nelson, Dean Martin in the cleanup spot, Dom Bumadian in the five slot, Mike Schroeder at the sixth, batting seventh. Rob Tishemperl will be batting at seven. Tyler Shane at eighth, and Jarrett Gates rounds up the lineup in the ninth spot as Parent delivers on the 0-1 pitch. It's going to be in foul territory, running for it from first base, and unable to get there, it's Adam Rollinger. Looking at the seven-up lineup here, once again, Matt Parent and delivering. He's delivering to Adam Sarrar behind the plate. Over at first is Adam Rollinger. The second baseman is Joey Bain, who will be DH'd for as Parrot delivers the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. And it's two away. You already met the third there baseman and Dan Ranieri on that yeah. first out. Matt Schubert over at short. Nick Winter is out in left field. Out in center is Taylor Koth. And Sam Mathis, Mathis, excuse me, over in right field. As now up to the plate comes Peter Nelson. Beavers, as you see in the red home jerseys, the red jerseys and the white trousers. So run up in their usual blue and green. As this one gets away from Parent for ball one. Got a 1-1 count with two out and nobody on. That's ball two to the awaiting Nelson. West Bend 7 won seven games in a row in the month of July, losing only one time in the month. As I mentioned earlier, going four and seven to open the season. Three games below 500. And then a seven game winning streak turns them around and puts them, makes them a top dogs, earning a bye in the playoffs. Now here they are for the Suburban Championship against the Beavers. Parent settles in, a 2-2 pitch with two out. Here it comes. Strike three looking, two strikeout performance for Matt Parent, and that will be the side. It's a scoreless top of the first, and the seven up will be up the bat here in just a moment. You are watching Land Lakes Baseball on West Bend Community TV. The bottom of the first set to go here in this suburban championship of the Land Lakes. Leading off for the seven up is gonna be Nick Winter, who's having a wonderful season here, We're both at the plate and in the field. He will be followed by Adam Rollinger. Mint Schubert will be batting third. The DH, Billy Bynum, stepping in for Joey Bain, will be batting in the cleanup spot. Matt Parent batting fifth. Sam Mathis, Mathis, excuse me, batting sixth. Dan Ranieri at the seventh spot. Taylor Coth will be batting eighth. And Adam Sarrar will be batting ninth as that one getting away from third baseman Pete Nelson. And the foul ball there. It's Matt Burke on the mound for the Beavers. 
facing a team that has gotten deadly in their offensive stretch down the line. As that's strike two right on that outside corner, he is dealing to Tyler Shane. Number 15, Dean Martin's over at first base, and those jokes will write themselves as the goes as the broadcast goes on. And swinging on that one is Winter. He's going to send this one deep, deep, and it is out of here. A leadoff home run for Nick Winter. And just like that, it is one nothing in favor of the seven up. <laughs> Tough act to follow if your name is Adam Rollinger. First baseman number two, Adam Rollinger. Rollinger playing at first base today, and Burke already getting a, a rude awakening there, and that was a nice fastball. He just managed to get a clip on that one, the lefty. And now another lefty in Rollinger at the plate. Justin Reminger is over at second for the rest of the lineup. Pete Nelson, I mentioned, is at third. Justin Barkhorse is at short. Don Boumediene is up in left field as Rollinger pops this one foul up and over the grandstands. Rob Schimperl is in right. He had to watch that one fly over the fence. And over up in center is Jarrett Gates. As Rollinger fouls it again, one and two, the count remains. And what is a fairly uh, humid day, game time temperature about 79 degrees up here in the Kettle Moraine. And the pitch. Rollinger takes a strike on the outside corner and one away. First out, number 10, Schubert. That'll bring up Schubert. Schubert swings first pitch, fouls it away. Next pitch, biting is Schubert. It's playable on left, and Buma Deanne will get the catch. Two away. So far, kind of feel bad for Burke, as he has to face the cleanups hitter in Billy Bynum. Gave up a solo shot for the for the leadoff hitter, but so far his uh, next two at bats much improved as he delivers outside this time to Bynum. Burke found at that time for strike one. One and one to count, two out, nobody on for Bynum. Pitch coming, Bynum check swings on a high one. Burke wasting no time, Bynum will bite and send this one to shallow right. Coming back from second, and making the grab is Rubinger, and the inning is over. But the seven up got what they came for, a solo home run from Nick Winner. It is the seven up one, the Beavers zero. You are watching Land Lakes Baseball on West Bend Community TV. Beavers putting Dean Martin up at the plate. After a one, two, three inning for the seven up, parent continues and a high one comes in to the very, uh, Tall Martin standing about 6-2. Big Paris trying to get him bite in a high swing. This time he'll curve ball it right into the zone for strike one. Ball one, strike one to count. Barrett wasting no time. One one coming. This one misses low and away. Parent having a More than solid season as we have a strike for a 3-1, 2-2 count. Or 
Already up to two strikeouts as he delivers. Swung on, gonna be grounded over to second. Should be easy fielding there, it is. Taken by Joey Bain, who's being oh, DH'd for. It's one away. And so quick for three, Dom Bomadien will take it up. He's going to make a Matt Parent. This is his 21st game of the season. I mean, Alan Rollinger, the only two to make it to there. The Key Wascom grad. He's 5 and 2 on the season so far in terms of pitching. 62 and two thirds inning pitch coming in. He's allowed 60 hits, 27 runs, 10 of them earned, which is an amazing stat right there on this up. 19, excuse me, 16 walks and 49 strikeouts with an ERA of 144. As that pitch gets away, it's a 1 2 count now to Boumediene. Looking at his pitching, he's already got two strikeouts to his name, his season high. was 10 against the Heartland Oilers to start the season. He's logged a strikeout in every single one of his appearances with the exception against the Pewaukee Muskies, where he only came in the pitch and relief for one inning. He's gone complete four times this season against the Heartland Oilers, the Milwaukee Beavers himself, and that is a big hit by Boom at the end, through the gap into Rochelle right for a base hit. So Dean is on. This is we got Mike Schroeder. Number eleven, Mike Schroeder. Talking here against Paradier. Okay. Pitch complete against the Beavers before. Shut them out in that game. That was an 8-0 win for the seven up. The runner on and one out. Now he's delivering to Schrader. Puts a ball. To the big man. Trader DHing duties today. Takes another ball. This one high and inside. Almost to the numbers. Trader resets. And this one also outside. It's apparent. Trying to get the big man to swing out. Trader not biting. Winning over at first, and there's a strike that Parent was looking for, just going with the plain old fastball. 3-1, another count. Trader is ready to go, here's the pitch. Swung on, popped up. Looks like shallow right, maybe foul territory. Everyone's running for it, it's in foul territory, and it drops. That was right in the sweet spot where everyone from first, second, and right field were running for it. I think Bain got the closest to it. Just ready to resets with a full count this time. Check swings, did he go around? No, he did not. It was low and outside. He pulled back at just the right moment, and it's a walk. And it's two on with one out. Rob Shimberly. Bumadine moving over to second. Rob Shimberly. Stepping in. Shimberly playing in right field. And it's a strike looking. Pitch, foul off the plate. Makes it an 0 2 count, so they tying run over at second.
quick practicings by Shimperly getting ready for the delivery. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. That's strikeout number two. So number three for Parent. Strikeout number 72 on the season. Catcher number four, Tyler Shane. Next up the bat, Tyler Shane, catcher, gets a foul tip strike. Parent trying to get his groove back here and delivers. And Shane. Checks on that one. I got a 1 1 count. Two out and two on. Chance here. It's going to be a shot right toward the gap, and it's going to be fielded at short by Schubert, and they get the out at second on the fielder's choice. And the side Ooh, is retired. One and a half done. Seven up, still one. Lead 1 0. Here in the Suburban Championship, you are watching Land Lakes Baseball on West Bend Community TV. Bottom of the second for the seven up. Matt Parent will lead us off here. Burke continuing to work here. Sends ball one low to Parent. Parent only one of only two players to put in log 21 games this season, including this one. Over here in the 98th season of Land O'Lakes. Swing and a miss. As Parent wanted that one. Gets it to 2-1 count. Burke delivers. Parent will follow this one up over the backstop. Keeps it here at 2-2. Two two. Here's the set and the delivery. Parent will ground it over to third, fielding it there as Pete Nelson. The throw is just in time, one away. So, so far, right good defense. Mathias will bat next. As Burke sets in for it. Here it comes. Strike one right down the middle. Next pitch and Matthias sends it deep and it is gone. Deep left and it is gone. So two home runs for the Solo shot for Sam Mathis. Seven up. And just like that, we have a 2 0 ball game here in the bottom of two. And this is his 19th appearance, scoring his 13th run with that home run. That's his first of the season. And his fourth run batted in. Is up to it is Ranieri. Ranieri's going to knock it into right center for a base. He's going to try to go for two. There's a throw coming, but he will slide in safe. Stand up double for Ranieri. Center fielder, number 16. Hit number Taylor 26 Pope. for Ranieri. Taylor Koth will step up. And 
coat, we'll get a handle on it. Sends it deep to center, getting it before the warning track is Jared Gates. We got two away. That's his ninth double of the season. And a bit of an awkward pitch there for the recently stepped in Adam Sarar rounding out the lineup. That's a strike right there. Team as a team had seven home runs before this game. They now have nine. That was all season, so now they have nine, just two in this game. This one's going to be sent to right in the foul territory, running and letting it drop. Shimperla. What well, counts now? One and two for Sarar. And Ranieri over there at second base. Berg trying to settle in here. He's giving up three hits and two runs. Pitch, lined over to second, knocking it down is Reminger, but it got away from him. Rounding is Ranieri, he's gonna go home. There's a throw, and it's gonna be just off. And Ranieri scores an RBI single for Sarar. Left fielder, Nick Winter. Also bring up Winter, who homered, of course, in the Bottom of the first. The pitch. And Winter sends his flying out of the ballpark on the foul side. So, 3 nothing lead here. Sarar over there at first, two out. Now it's one and one with the ball that was thrown there by Burke. And the pitch outside, nah, and very low. Pitch coming from Burke, swung on by Sarar, popped up, shallow center, should be playable by somebody. And coming from center to do it is Jared Gates. And the inning is over. But the seven up get two more. Trying to put this one in a secure spot to complete. It is a seven up three, the Beavers nothing. You are watching Land Lakes Baseball on West Bend Community TV. Jared Gates will lead off the top of three. He's out there in center field, seeing his share of action already as Parent turns to work. Here's first pitch. It's going to be swung on, pop foul, and out of play. Here's the set and the delivery. JJ comes back in. It's 0 2 to Gates. Next pitch is going to be grounded over toward the third base. Diving for it's Ranieri, but he couldn't get it. In the shell, left it goes. We got a base hit on for Jared Gates. Justin Parkers. Up Parkers to ground it over to third himself back in the first inning. And the pitch. Swan. Leaping grab made 
by Bain, but the throw is not going to be good for the double play at first as Gates gets back. But Bain got high for that one and grabbed it out of the air. One away. Next pitch coming in to Justin Reminger. Over to the left. Easy grab there for winner, two away. Peter Nelson. here and with a 1-0 count, Nelson says a foul. Next pitch is a strike called. Coming in, swing and a miss. And that's it for this inning. As Nelson is retired as the fourth strikeout by Parent. We go to the middle of the third. Seven up, still leading 3 0 over the Milwaukee Beavers. You are watching Land of Lakes Baseball on West Bend Community TV. Adam Rollinger leads off the seven up. He struck out back in the first. Miss Burke returns to work. And it's a ball outside. Strike looking. It's a 2 1 count. Two, 2 count, once again, a looking strike. Full count now. No. It's going to be a send in to left, running there to grab it. And making the grab is Wimodian. One away. Schubert. Let me up Schubert, who flew out the left himself. Strike one looking. And the delivery, and oh, this one got Schubert. It seems on the worst for it. He'll take his base as there's a runner on. Bynum's first pitch is going to follow it off the plate. He 
Here's the set and the delivery. Bynum's gonna send this one into right center. He's got some deepness and he's gonna land right before the warning track. Everyone's going around, the signal is on. Schubert is gonna try to take home and he will successfully, an RBI double for Billy Bynum. So Schubert scores, making it four nothing as Matt Parent will step up. He grounded to third to lead off the second for the seven up. Parent pops this one up, foul territory, it may be playable. And just misses the sliding Shane. It is Bynum's 29th hit of the season. His 20th run batted in. His parent steps back up there and also Bynum's ninth double. And Parent sends it into the left. Bynum will advance. As Parent picks up the hit, his first of the day. Mathis will step in there. He has a home run already. He was the second home run of the day and the Second run as well. And he's got runners in the corners with only one out, so the seven up with a chance to extend this lead. As this one's low and outside for ball one. And the pitch. Strike looking for Mathis. And the pitch coming, swung on, grounded over towards short off the bounce, nicely done by Burkhorst, and they're able to turn two on a 6-4-3 double play. But one more run for the seven up, going to the top of four, they lead four nothing over the Milwaukee Beavers. You are watching Land Lakes Baseball on West Bend Community TV. Top of the fourth inning, the Beavers needing some offensive action here, and so far they've been unable to get much going here, as Dean Martin will lead off the fourth. Check swings and lets it go by. So ball one, Parent still on the mound. Tries to get him to go outside again, and it's ball two. As Martin was not fooled by that. The pitch. It's a ball inside as Parent trying to pitch around the zone to Martin. Martin's not buying it as Parent will deliver the 3-0 pitch. There's the strike. Right down the middle. Here it comes. It's going to be grounded foul off the plate. Rolling third base side. Makes it a 3 2 count. Now full. Martin's going to make a decision. See what Parent does to him. Parent delivers. Swing and a miss. For strike three, and that is strikeout number five for Parent, and out number one. Bubidiani will step in. He has a single back in the second, stranded over at second. His parent delivers, and it's a strike on the fastball. It's going to be a 
pop out to left. Should be easy for Koth. He makes the grab, two away. I'll bring up Schrader. Schrader made it to first on a walk back in the second inning. Parents sets in, delivers, goes low and outside, and Schrader does not bite. Ball one. And the pitch. Swan, foul tip strike. One and one the count now. Schrader survived a full count scare on that walk. Bigger duel so far as Parent gets him to swing this time on the changeup. One and two the count. Parent delivering. Swing and a miss. And that is strikeout number six for Parent. And the second inning where the Seven up, go one, two, three on defense. They'll be back up the back here for the bottom of the fourth in just a minute. They still lead four nothing over the Milwaukee Beavers in the Land of Lakes Suburban Championship. You are watching Land of Lakes Baseball on Westman Community TV. Big out the fourth for seven up, third baseman and Ray. Ray going to lead off. And seven up leading four nothing for those who missed it. And Ranieri scored earlier in the second after he doubled. He shows bunt and pulls back on a ball. As Burke now looking with four runs given up on six hits. And biting is Ranieri since it's a foul. Unplayable. One one the count. Ranieri scored on the RBI single from Sarar. And here's the pitch. Comes in low and gets away from Shane. So a new ball out there. 2-1 one, one the count. Burke wastes no time. He's going to bring it here. Strike on the inside corner. Ranieri thought he got away with ball three there. And so we have two and two. And the pitch. Oh, let's see, got a piece of Ranieri, he did. It's the second hit by pitch on the day. He hit Schubert in last inning. Let him bring up Koth, who flew out to center back in the second. Pitch came in high for ball one to Koth. Burke will go back to first. And going is Ranieri. There's the throw. And then Ranieri steals the base. First of the day for the seven up. Advances the runner. Nobody out on the one one count for Koth. He'll settle in. Burke delivers. Koth swings on it. He's going to grant it over to short. Burkehurst will throw. It's a good throw. Did it get there in time? It bounced. And safe on running it out is Koth. That's going to go down as a hit. As Koth outruns it, staying put is Ranieri. He stays at second. And Sarar with the RBI single back into second. Comes up with a chance to do it all over again. Burke sets in. 
Lowers it low and away, showing Bond with Saror, but he pulled back. Pitch, showing bunt this time once Sarar bit for it and missed. So strike one, one one to count, two on. Ranieri, over there at second after having stolen a base. Burke waiting for a signal he likes. Finally settles in onto the rubber. Checks and delivers. So we're really looking for that bunt. Do not chase it outside though for ball two. And the pitch. Low and away, ball three. So we are staying patient. And that changes everything. It brings Winter back up to the play here. Nobody out. The pitch. Strike. Caught the bottom of the zone, makes it 3 2. As Soror takes a few steps and walks back in there. Full count pitch coming up here as Burke. Settles and delivers. Way outside, the ball gets loose. The runners are going to advance anyway. That was ball four. Ranieri now at third. Koth goes to second. Sarar at first. And Nick Winter, who homered in the first as the leadoff batter, is back at the plate with nobody out and bases loaded. There's just some fireworks here, depending on... What he can do if he makes contact. Burke settles and delivers. Strike looking. Strike one. And then ball one coming in low and outside to winner. Winner resets and stands by. The 1 1 pitch incoming as Burke sets and delivers. Winner lets it go out low and outside again. 2 1 the count. Burks needs some help from the bats in the batting end of the Beavers as they've been shut out so far here. They managed two hits. As we're in the bottom of the fourth, Winters bites on an outside pitch. He knocks it foul third base side, and it's going to land out of the reach of the running Pete Nelson. Two and two the count now for Winter. Back in, we're all set to go here as Burke said, goes into the stretch. The 2 2 pitch incoming, winner swings over to first, is going to be fielded excellently by Martin. Martin tags up and gets the out, but the runners advance for near he scores. First base, Adam Rollier. I think Coth also advances to second, so Rohr gets the first, so. Ground to first RBI for Winter. I'll bring up Rollinger with one out. Runners on second and third, and Koth over to third, Sarar at second. The pitch is outside the Rollinger. Gets him ahead in the count early. A 
from the pitch. It's strike look in for Rollinger. Burke delivers this one outside for ball two. That makes it a 2 1 count. One out, two on. Rollinger settles in. Here's the delivery. Strike looking as it caught the outside corner. 2 2 count. As Burke staying in it, the delivery. Swung on, grounded to first once again. Martin is there to grab it on the bounce, two away. Runners stay put, Coat at third, Sar at second, that'll bring up Schubert, who scored in the third to being hit by a pitch and flew out to the left in the first. Trying to keep this alive. Seven have scored in every single inning they've been at bat so far in this game, all four of them. As the curveball gets the outside corner, Schubert goes behind the count, oh, and one. Spurk delivers, swing and a miss for strike two. Berger with a chance here to bring it all to an end. Swung on up the neck of the bat. It lands fair down the third baseline into left field. Koth scores. Soros going home, and they're going to get him out. So it's an RBI double for Schubert. As Koth gets the score, Soror got a late start going around third, heading for home. Out on a... Seven five two at home plate, but the seven have got two more. They lead six nothing at the end of four complete. You were watching Land Lakes baseball on West Bend Community TV. Rob Shimperly to lead off the top of the fifth here as the Beavers now trail six nothing to the seven up. Seven up scoring one run, two runs, one run, two runs. As I mentioned before scoring at least one run in every single inning they've been at bat so far. One run in the first and the third, and two runs apiece in the second and fourth as Parent still working. Puts ball one a little up high to Shipperly. Pitch coming, it's gonna be a high flyer out to left center. Everyone's on the run for it, including Koth. It's gonna land at the warning track. Koth on the bare hand bounce, sends it flying. And Shipperly will have to settle for the single as Koth couldn't get there in time for it, but he picked it up off the bounce at the warning track and whipped it right to second to keep it a single, which should have been a double for Shimberly, as Tyler Shane will step in. And Parent will try to go back to first to keep Shimperly honest. Shimperly's back in, no one the worse for wear. If I stand corrected, that is a pinch runner, it looks like. It's going to be a hit out the left, and going out there to get it is Winter to retire Shane. That's one away. And I'll bring up Jared Gates. So you got Josh Smith in there, wearing number 27. 
as the pinch runner. He's going to go. There's the throw. And he's safe. Next pitch to Gates has popped up. So are unable to get to it. Gates staying with it. Pitch coming, swung on and grounded out foul. Counts 0 and 2 to Gates, who's single in the third. Pitch coming, well, high and outside, 1 and 2. Pitch coming is inside. Two and two now, Gates. Pitch coming, swung on, lined over to short off the bounce, Schubert, the throw is in time, two away. And that keeps Smith right where he was. Parker. And Barker's trying to keep it going here, trying to get a run across the plate to end the shutout. He's keeping the scoreless drive arrived here. His parent sticking in there. It's allowed only three hits today. The pitch. Strike one looking. Got the changeup going from high to low. Parent, the 0-1 coming. Swung on, foul on the backstop, 0-2. Oh, and the pitch, swung on, kind of foul. Count remains 0 and 2. Parent trying to put this inning away. Pitch coming. Swung on. Right past Parent, but Bames got it. The throw is in time, and that's the side right there. Four and a half complete. The seven up remain firmly in control during the Suburban Championship of the Land Lakes. They lead 6 0 over the Milwaukee Beavers. You are watching Land Lakes Baseball on West Bend Community TV. They got the pitch for seven up. The designated hitter, Billy Blam. And Billy Bynum leading off the The bottom of the fifth for the seven up takes strike one as Burke continues working. Nice ball one to Bynum. Fouls it off the plate, makes it one and two.
One, two to Bynum comes in low. Man's gonna take a swing on that one's gonna ground it right over to first. Picked up by Martin. Easy play. Is a foul? And not there's not a signal for foul. The pitcher Matt Eric. This is going to be a Matt Parent, who is one for two today. This one comes in high, and also got parents on the upper arm. They seem none too pleased about it. He will take his base. He's a third hit by pitch. And Burke has ratcheted it up, so a runner is on. Mathis will step in. He home runned, homered back in the second. Solo shot, and grounded to a 6 4 3 double play in the third. Berg trying to get out of this one. Delivers. Swung on, it's gonna land fair in left field right against the line. Parent turns on the speed, he's got the signal on, he's gonna try to go for all the way. And he's gonna come in, here's the throw, it's gonna be just a second late. Sliding in oh, yeah, is yeah. Matt Parent. That makes it seven to nothing as, I thought it was an RBI double, two RBIs in the game with one out. He's over at second, that'll bring up Ranieri. Who reached on a hit by pitch in the fourth and the second, he doubled, he scored both times. And we also have a pitching change. We'll take a quick break for the pitching change. When we come back, the 7 will be back up. They lead 7-0 in the bottom of the fifth. You were watching Land Lakes Baseball on West Bend Community TV. Andrew Mance is the new pitcher for the third baseman, Dan Ranieri. Beavers, as Ranieri will step in and take his shot at it. Pitch coming. And strike one to Ranieri. Ranieri bites, sends it to deep right, and running for it and grabbing it is Shipperly. Taking up and going is Matthijs. So two out, that'll bring up Koth, the runner on third. And pitch coming. Makes it 1-0 as Andrew Mance didn't really like the look of it. Mance delivers. Getting a piece of it that time is Koth. It should be playable, but it's gonna fall shallow in center, right in the sweet spot. Scoring is Matthias from third. Koth with the RBI single. Bring up the catcher, Adam Sarar. Bring up Sarar. With an RBI single in the second, in the fourth, he walked. And got caught at home trying to score. And the pitch coming. Low and outside to Sarar. It's 
set and the delivery is going to be up and fouled up over the backstop. Counts one and one now to Sarar, trying to stay in it. Man tries to get him to chase outside, and it's a ball. Staying in front of it is Shane. Hands checks and delivers, finds the strikes on the outside corner. Two and two the count with two out and a runner on first and Koth. Pitch coming. Missed just outside. We got a full count for Sarar. A 3 2 count. Mance sets in and delivers. Shallow right center. It's going to drop for a base hit, and it gets by on the bounce by Shimperly. The signal is on. Koth is going to be told to go, and he will make it. On the RBI double by Sarar, it's 9 0, and the streak continues all five innings, and the 7 up have scored. Here's up the left fielder, Nick Winter. Winter will step in with two out, and a runner on second in Sarar. Pitch coming. It is a ball. Pitch coming in the one now. And winner loops this one in to la a center for a base hit. The relay throw is a good one. The Soror advances the third. Winner makes it to second on the single. And they'll actually get all the way to, actually, he gets a double out of that one as he makes it all the way to second. As the throw went past the relay man all the way into the diamond, he just had to take the base while he could. Rollinger will step in with two on and two out. Best scoring inning for the seven up. They've scored three this inning. And Rollinger trying to keep this rally going. They put some buffer in. Pitch coming. Swung on, popped up, and is it playable as Shane comes back and grabs it? And that's the inning. The but the best the uh, the inning for the 7-up, yeah, they get three out of it. And the end of five complete, they lead 9-0 over the Milwaukee Beavers. You are watching the Land of Lakes Suburban Championship game on West Bend Community TV. Kyle Knast, pinch hitting. Entering into the two spot. As it's clear that the Beavers need all the help they can get on the offensive end. At three hits, they got no runs. This parent comes right back to work, gets strike one out of it. Next pitch is the curveball. Finds the outside corner. Makes it two and two. Mouse can't believe it. The two two coming. Comes in low as a ball. We got ourselves a full count here. It's going to be ball four. Nelson is on. That'll bring up Nelson, who struck out twice. I was going to say, the fifth inning was the first time Parent didn't have a strikeout to record. <laughs> and we have a strike here for Nelson.
Next pitch is going to be grounded over towards short. Schubert has it on the run. The throw. And what the relay there, a 6 4 3 double play. First base is Dean Martin. That'll bring up Dean Martin. First double play turned by the seven up. And a swing and a miss. A strike one for Martin. Grounded to second in the second and struck out in the fourth. Swing and a miss for strike two. Next pitch, swing and a miss, and I mentioned the strikeout. There it is. Peters are one, two, three, and six after five and one half. That is the seventh strikeout for Parent today, and the third inning, the seven up got knocked out the first three. We go to the bottom of the six. Seven up leading the Beavers, nine nothing in the Land Lakes Suburban Championship game here on West Bend Community TV. Leading off the six for seven up. Shortstop, Matt Schubert. Matt Schubert, the only member of the 7-Up who didn't cross the plate. Previous inning will lead us off here. To the left in the first, in the third, he's hit by a pitch and scored in an RBI double. In the fourth, he takes strike one from Andrew Mance. Now in his second inning of work. Pitch coming, low and outside. So 12 total hits for the seven up. Pitch coming, swung on by Schubert into left, running for his Mundiani. Makes the grab, one away. Designated hitter, Billy Bynum. That'll bring up Billy Bynum. One for three today with an RBI double in the third. Coming in, misses just outside in the curve ball. Two now. Man standing by, delivers, swing and a miss by Bynum. Strike one. Man gets the signal. Bynum will take a step out of the box for a second. Mance gets the signal, and here it comes. Bynum wants to go high for ball three. Go, Andrew. Pitch coming, Bynum takes it, pops up into shell right center, and it's dropped. Shimperly drops it. Pitcher, Calling that one a hit, but it's going to bring up Matt Parent with one out. There's been some shuffling here of the lineup. It's going to be over to third. Chance to turn two is not in time. He reaches, apparently reaches a five or four. Field of choice. Do it first. 
is Rob Kindlesperger. As Mans checks. It's ball one to Matthias. Strike one now. One and one to count. Kalkanasos move over to the second. Rob Kindlesperger is at first. Josh Smith over in right field. Pitch coming. Swung on. Playable in right. There's the grab. And that is the inning. But still reasonably not so bad for the 7 up. The first one they did not get the first time they don't score. They still lead 9 nothing after 6 complete. You are watching the Land of Lakes Suburban Championship game on West Bend Community TV. Mubu Diani will lead off the top of the 7th. It's going to be grounded right over. Picked up on the bounce by Schubert, and it's one away. Throw was kind of low, but they made it. Designated hitter, Mike Schrader. Mike Schrader will take his designated hitter position. Coming in is going to be sent up foul. That's going to have the wind took it and it lands fair and right field. Schrader will make it all the way to second on a stand up double. Matthias went toward the foul area, but then the wind took it back toward the 312 sign and right and it lands at the warning track. Schrader with the stand up double. I believe that's Josh Smith. I think. <laughs> Jordan Block. Steps in for now playing in right field. Block takes strike one. Second hit is going to be grounded all the way over to first. That'll be a three one. Going to third. They got a wedding. Shane. Is the pinch runner, Josh Smith. Tyler Shane, the catcher, steps in. And it's strike one. The 0 1 pitch comes back in, another changeup. Makes it 0 2 very quickly. And the set and the delivery. It's going to be fouled off the plate. We'll keep it here. Count remains 0 2 as. Block gets in there, gonna be Shane gets back in. And the pitch coming. Swan, deep to right, going back as Matthias. And it lands on the warning track. 
Josh Smith scores, so the shutout is off. And a breath of fresh air here for the Beavers as they finally get a run, snapping the scoreless streak that Parent had going. Center fielder, Jared Gates. A little bring up Gates. So RBI double for Shane. Gates takes ball one on the first pitch. Parent and delivers. Fouls it into the backstop. One on one. Pitch coming. It's going to be a foul up over the ground the backstop. One and two your count. Pitch coming in, swinging and a miss for strike three. Strikeout number eight for Parent. And it's time to stretch. The Beavers are finally on the board as the seven up nine. Beavers won. You are watching the Land of Lynx Suburban Championship game on West Bend Community TV. They got the seven for seven up. Her basement and Ranieri. Ranieri leading off the bottom of the seventh as the Seven up, finally giving up a run and going scoreless last inning for the first time. Just trying to maintain this eight run lead as Ranieri facing Adam Mance, Andrew Mance, takes strike one. Pitch gets away, way outside. Ball one, strike one to Ranieri. One one, shot over to second, and it gets by the reaching hand of Knost. Base hit for Ranieri, second of the day. I'll bring up Koth, who is two for three himself. Center fielder Taylor Koth flew out to center back in the second. In the fourth, he singled and then scored, and then he had an RBI single in the fifth and scored. Pitch coming. Strike one on the inside. Pitch coming. Curveball misses low and away. One and one now. Settles in, stands by, pitch coming. It's going to be looped fair just against the third base line. Coat with his third base hit. Ranieri advances to second. That'll bring up Sorar, who has two hits himself. Taking a look at my stat line here to see if I am correct in saying this. And indeed, The only player in the lineup so far that hasn't gotten a hit for 7-up is Rollinger. 0 for 4 on the day. So with an RBI single and an RBI double. Takes a strike. Delivers, swung on, shall right. And the grab is made by Block. So 
so it's one away. Mike Cecil will be pinch hitting for winner. First pitch. Strike one. And if you're the Beavers, you want to prevent any more scoring from happening here because if you want to make a comeback, it's got to be done in two innings. Facing a team that has officially 14 hits. Pitch coming. Swing and a miss. For strike two. Mance taking his time, checking his runners, the 0-2. Shot out to center. Should be playable, it is. It's two away. Chased down by Jared Gates. First baseman, Adam Rollinger. Rollinger will return. His fifth plate appearance. Two outs and two on, trying to get this one going. And some insurance. Pitch coming. Passes up on a ball just above the waistline. Pitch coming. Owner swings on it, fouls it third base side, and it's going to be out of reach to play. count. Man sets. Comes off the mound for just a moment. Pitch coming. Ball outside. 2-1 to count. Taking this time for over this 2 1. Here it comes. It got away from him high. 3 1 now. Is Rollinger standing by? Pitch coming. Rollinger swings on it, pops it up. Foul territory, third base side. Should be playable. And coming to get it is Pete Nelson. The inning is over. Seven, seven, seven up. Held scoreless in the seventh. Two innings to go. It is the seven up nine. Beavers one. You are watching the Land of Lake Suburban Championship on Westman Community TV. Barkers just at the lead off here. And Sezzle moves out to left field and plays a winner. Barker's trying to keep it going. It's a ball. His parent trying to go the distance here for the fifth time this season. It's to be grounded down the line. Fair third base side. Barker's will get a single out of that. Kyle Knauss up there now. This is a good position to be in. 
No, no one out. Runner on first. Now takes a strike. You are the seven up. You want to get the this first out and establish some dominance here. You can get two. You're in good shape. With the, with the runner on now. Rutgers is going, it's going to be a foul. Makes it a 1-2 count. Still some life here for the Beavers if they can get it going. The 1-2 swing and a miss for strike three, and that's it for Knost. Nine. Nine strikeouts for Parent. So he faces Pete Nelson. Swing and a miss for strike one. He'll hit his season high of 10 if he gets one more. He'll tie it. He has 78 on the season as of right now. A hit and run. About a right to second, and bam! Looks like he took it to the head. Ball bounces all the way out into left field. The Bame is back up on his feet. And a weird bounce. He might be coming out just for the sake of concussion protocol. We'll take the concussion over and over. <laughs> and Billy Bynum's already headed out to second with his glove ready. Bames ready to go back to his position. He walked back to his second base spot. Conversation's happening, but it looks like Billy Bynum's gonna take a spot out there at second base. And Bame will head to the dugout, his day over. a hit or an error. <coughs> Board hasn't changed. But Barkhurst. Six. We have a new hitter coming up, wearing number six. Stepping in for Dean Martin. Rob Kindlesperger. Steps in. Probably for the Beavers, number six, Rob Kielsberger. Kielsberger stepping in in place of Martin. Oh, won the count, takes the ball outside. Only one out. And this one is outside. And it's a quick walk. The bases are loaded. Barkhurst goes to third. Nelson to second. And Kindlesberger. Is at first off the walk. Got to look at Dom Bumadani. And fouls it off the plate on a check swing. Pitch coming. That's going to be popped up. Playable parent will get underneath it. Makes the grab. That's two away. Gonna bring up Mike Schrader. Mike. 
Schrader with two outs, a chance to chip away at this lead, but if you're the seven of you can get the out here, you are in very good shape. Check swing on a low one for ball one. Pitch come in, it's a strike looking. Her ball caught the outside corner. One one the count now to Schrader. Parent. So we grounded foul third base side. One two the count. Remains one two. Parent trying to get it out of here, shaking off a few signals from Soror. Pitch coming. Check swing, did he go? He, he did. That is strikeout number 10 for Parent. And the seven up, get out of it. We go to the top. You go to the bottom of eight. Seven up leading, nine one. You are watching the Suburban Championship game of Land Lakes Baseball on West Bend Community TV. Matt Schubert, and what might be the final plate appearance of the day, depending on how top of the ninth goes. But the seven up are in a good position here. You got a five run lead going into the top of the ninth inning, and you're the home team. You're in a good position as he takes strike one. Mance continuing to work. Pitch coming outside for ball one. Pitch coming in. It's a ball. Two one pitch coming. Schubert takes one long outside. Three one. A three one coming in. Swing and a miss for strike two as Schubert almost goes all the way around on that one. Pitch coming in, swung on, popped, and up over the, the top of the spire. Here's the set and the delivery coming in. And he got him. Schubert hit and by the pitch. He will take his base. That'll bring up Billy Bynum, who moved over to second after Bame. Got beamed on a grounder that took a bad bounce. Pitch coming in. Bynum wants to come in inside for ball one. With a runner on and nobody out, Mance delivers outside and high. Two balls and no strikes as Bynum being patient. Coming in, Bynum swings. It's fouled, third base side. Should be playable. And grabbing it is Shane for out number one. Pitcher Matt Barrett. It's a pairing up. Mintz delivers. Parent wants it outside for a ball. Mm -hmm. 
and settles in and delivers. Perrin bites, and it's over the leaping hand of Knost into right center for a base hit. Schubert advances to second. Right fielder Sam Mathis. Mathis will step in with a home run, double it, grounded into a double play, an RBI double, and a fly out to right to his name. With one out and two on, here to provide some insurance for the team, as it looks like the West Bend Seven Up will. Be able to claim the Suburban Championship here today. Got to make it official. The three outs are making it official. As Matthias fouls it off of Tyler Shane, who has mask come askew. 0 1 the count. Over coming in and biting is Matthias. He'll go out to center and making a sliding catch out there is Jared Gates. Two away. I mean, Ranieri. So two out. Ranieri can keep it going or it can be the final batter of this inning. And then just be a matter of the seven up putting it away at the top of the ninth. Pitch coming in, shot out to left on the run. It gets past the glove of Bumadiani. One run's going to come in. And Parent's going to make an effort to go all the way himself, and he will make it. Schubert and Parent both score. And it is 11 to 1 as Parent's hobbling. A two RBI double for Dan Ranieri. His second double of the game, third hit, and Taylor Koth will step in. Mance delivers a ball outside. Nice pitch, Andrew. Let's go. Mance the chance to get this one out of here with a runner on second. As the seven up in good position to reclaim the championship of the suburban division of Land of Lakes. They will take on the winner of the Lake Country division. That game also in progress as I speak. It's gonna be a grounder over toward third. Bounces through, goes to short. The Burkhart, the throw is too long. Scoring from third and rounding will be Ranieri. I believe that's going to be an error. Coach stays at first. Sorower. I guess you're Adam Sorower. Will step up. It's now 12 1 in favor of the 7 up. There's the set. And delivery coming. Swung on over to second. Knost off the bounce. Should be an easy play, and it is. And the inning is over. But the seven up are in good position. We go to the top of the final so, inning, the ninth. Seven up 12, three, Beavers three, one. one. You are watching the Suburban three, Division seven, Championship seven, game Beavers, of Land of Lakes Baseball on West Bend Community TV. Jordan Block trying to lead off here as the 7-up <laughs> presumptuous champions of the Suburban Division trying to make it official here with three outs. It's like parents trying to go the distance though he was hobbling coming around third when he just scored last inning. Make throws strike one. Tyler Shane and then Gates up the bat next. Block rounds it over toward first. It's fielded by Rollinger, gives it to Parent. 
Yeah, he went away. Catcher, Tyler Shane. So Shane steps in, sends it out to center. Should be playable, it is, as Koth grabs it, two away. So it's one out away for the seven up to put this one in the win column and claim the championship of the suburban division of Land Lakes Baseball. And the right to face the Lake Country champion. It looks like that is definitely going to happen here is Jared Gates with a chance to keep it going. Parent delivers. Strike one inside corner. Parent sets in, delivering the one to Gates. Gates swings and misses. First strike two. This pitch could be it right here. Coming in, it's ball one, just a little low. Gates and the Beavers by extension stay alive for at least one more pitch. And the delivery. Swung on, grounded over towards short. Schubert on the ground, the throw. Is it in time? Yes, it is, and that's the game. And West Bend 7-Up are the champions of the Suburban Very Division. Nice. Set up with of Land O'Lakes baseball by a score of 12 to 1 over the Milwaukee Beavers. Beavers. A 16 hit performance the by the 7 up to claim that runs, championship. They get to advance. They will play in the next round against the winning team of the Lake Country Division champion. We may have an update here in just a moment. Top of the eighth, and an update on the Lake Country. Brookfield, Brookfield Blue Sox, Bulldogs, excuse me, are 4 2. So the eventual winner of that game will take on the 7 Up. And once again, your final score the 7 Up, the champions of the, the suburban division of Land Lakes Baseball, by a score of 12 to 1 over the Milwaukee Beavers. I want to thank Tom Stoff, our cameraman, and John Elke, and Patrick Dunn over at West Bend Community TV. I'm Nathan Krennerbach, everyone else at the operation. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned to West Bend Community TV for even more athletic contests being broadcast from right here in the heart of your neighborhood, West Bend, Wisconsin. This has been a presentation of Land O'Lakes Baseball on West Bend Community TV.